Hey guys, we have a really good taste test for you guys today. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we got some Chips Ahoy. Some roasted corn flavor Torito. And a special <laughs> surprise pack that we're not gonna show you until the end. Yeah, if you're like, wow, that's pretty lame taste test, only two things. Uh, you gotta wait. So <laughs> this I guess is so random. We love ourselves some Chips Ahoy, so we're, we're gonna try these Doritos first. Roasted corn sounds about like the best chip you could possibly get. I, I'm these are the, are normally the, what, chili? It's some flavor I normally like, the green color. Mm. Hey we guys, could. welcome to the video. That's a pretty sick angle, actually. So yeah, this is a product of China. Interesting. Really? Imported in Malaysia. Yeah, normally I like the flavor, uh, the green one, whatever it is, I forget. Give me corn! <laughs> it smells like fracking corn. <laughs> what the frack? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a tortilla chip or something. It smells like when you walk by those stands that are cooking <laughs> corn. What the frack? It literally looks like they roast corn and this is roasted corn. <laughs> Why did I not expect it to be exactly the name? I wonder if this is gonna taste like corn. <laughs> Let's try it. That's weird as nuts. <laughs> so it's like salty corn at first a little bit. And there's some flavor in the middle that I don't know what it is. Then you get the tortilla chip. Then the aftertaste is just straight corn. It's like sweet. That is really fracking weird. I mean, it's not bad. There's one flavor in there I don't know. But otherwise it's just salty corn, something sweet, tortilla chip, then corn again. Oh weird. yeah, they're not bad. It almost tastes like it, they put sugar on this thing. It does, it does. Corn. Corn chips. You get what you buy. Now, most importantly, I mean, they have- They have normal chips Ahoy around. We've tried them. But it's not, it's not chewy. These are soft. They better be soft, actually. Please don't fly everywhere. Oh. Oh. Three rows of deliciousness. That's a lot of cookies. If you ask Rhett and Link, um, Rhett would say, Chewy cookies are gross because they taste like chemicals. They do. Think delicious chemicals, come on. It's like pop. Delicious chemicals. Delicious chemicals. They do have a odd aftertaste, but it's very yeah. satisfying. Yeah. It kind of oddly makes my tongue tingle. It, like, if you were to eat this without knowing it's a cookie, you might not even know it's a cookie because it doesn't taste like a cookie. All right, let me close my eyes for this one. Okay. Is that piece of, a piece of Play-Doh with chocolate chips in it? <laughs> That's what the texture is like, which is a satisfying texture. <laughs> I mean, like when you make a Play-Doh creation and it looks really tasty, you kind of want to eat it. And not even just because it, uh, the color is cool, but because the texture you would assume yeah. to be cool. I feel like when I was a little kid, I was playing with Play-Doh, I like vaguely remember looking at like a burger I'd make and then wanting to take a bite out <laughs> of it and taking a little nibble and then being like, mm. and it being really salty. <laughs> really? Yeah, because like you can, sand? you can, you can make homemade Play-Doh. My mom would make it, and I remember salt was one of the ingredients. Weird. So Play-Doh, and now for the special event, what you've all been waiting for, the Oishi Bay. This was eighty-five pesos, or like a dollar and a half. This is so epic, and that's a lot of fracking food in there. Can you get a quick montage of a? Uh, how much stuff is in here. I'm gonna go full on Vin Diesel string. If you noticed, I've looked over there recently. Uh, we're watching Fast and the Furious 9. The greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. Butter toast flavor bread pan, prawn crackers, pillows, <laughs> Miguel's thin traditional style tortilla chips, a fish car pack, crackling, salt and vinegar, cracklings, plain salted, potato fries, <laughs> baked not fried, four times, corn snack, Choco Low, soft bite choco filled crackers. <laughs> and for some reason, coffee. coffee from a different brand. That's the epic pack. Now you can suffocate yourself. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's so loud. 10? 10 for 85? We know pillows, so we can get rid of those. That's about it. We, we, had, we haven't had butter, have we? We haven't had butter, no. And these are spicy prawn oh, crackers. I don't think we've had those either. We had, we've had both of these, but not these flavors. Well, I don't know how we haven't had potato fries, baked, not fried. Please pick a number 
one through seven. Hmm, four and a half. Is this? This. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a very concise. Uh, Spicy method. prawn crackers? Okay. I, I already have one gripe about this. They give you all these, but they're not resealable. So how the fr maybe you're not supposed to eat them all at <laughs> one sitting. You're not supposed to try one of each. <laughs> this is our dinner tonight because it's already almost nine. It is, and I'm a little hungry. Oh, the taste. Oh. <laughs> Does it smell more like prawn or spice? <laughs> oh, oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is a. Horrific smell. It is pungent. <laughs> Yikes. I'm not excited to try that. If it tastes anything like it smells. Well, that's that one's when you grab a singular one, it's very chilly. Oh, if a prawn, I have to, like smell it and then I feel it in my throat. This is what prawns smell like normally. No, they, it's rancid prawns. Ooh, not great. Not, yeah, not particularly good. Kind of spicy too. The spice, I like the hit, this kick on the back end, but I don't like the flavor of it. It's not crazy flavorful, so it's not like it can be that bad. Oh my gosh, look how many fracking ingredients are in this thing. Very healthy. Should we check this? Not as many. Surprisingly, what the heck? I would have thought that has so many. It does contain a bioengineered food ingredient though. That's very ominous. <laughs> Felly Electronix contains Felianane. I don't know what that is. I don't either, but it's in bold. Okay, so these are, are, they're okay. Uh, four out of 10. Four out of 10. All right, pick a number, one through, what are we at? Two, four, six, seven? Uh, seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Oh, more fish. Yay, let's just get the fish done right away. These are fish good at Kuya J. These look really white here. Uh-oh. Which means they just might not have any flavor. Smell, they smell like styrofoam. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's my favorite type of chip. They do smell like styrofoam. Very fancy. Dink it and dink it. Doesn't even taste like fish, that just tastes like... Slight salt. And then it also tastes like I'm sort of like licking like a table. Imagine like- That might be a bit too hard, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a table, imagine. There's a rock on the side of an Icelandic beach mm -hmm. that kind of gets hit by the ocean water every once in a while. Then it kind of falls off and then the salt on top of it crusts. Yeah, yeah. But then the salt also slowly starts to fall out so it's not super salty. Yeah. So it's just kind of like a rock with a little bit of sea salt on yeah. it. The Kuya J ones were good. <laughs> they were. And when we had prawn crackers originally, they weren't bad. I, we're giving these slightly harsh reviews, but they're not that bad. We uh, just probably will never buy them again. Uh, five? Five. Yeah. All right, pick a number, one through six. Uh, probably like 3.25. Oh, okay. Oh, bread pan. butter. We liked bread pan. We did. I bought some of them since we've been here. And it made a huge mess. Because they're very messy. They are very crumbly. Ooh, it smells like fake uh, butter that they put on popcorn. Oh, it does. It does. Which is a good smell. It should be good tasting. Give me that. Hmm? It's kind of got that little sweetness that that butter has too. It does. That's Those good. I'm gonna give that a fat eight or anno. I give it a seven. Yeah, it's got the sweetness in there. No, yeah, and it's crunchy, which I like. It's good texture. We mentioned this in our previous Filipino snacks, but a lot of the snacks are very like poppable. Pop. Just pop, pop, pop. Whereas like a bag of Doritos, you have to sort of eat, eat. These ones you just pop, 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 and you can just down them. Pick a number. One through 50. 56, or uh, 46. Oh, wow. I was ready for this. We got Marty's Cracklin Plain Salted. Plain Salted! All right, Cracklin Marty's, what are we gonna do here? Ooh, Cracklin. Cracklin! Oh, they don't look like that at all. They look like dried out even more sun chips. No, oh, they look what like- what the heck? They look like bigger versions of uh, um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. These look like Indian snacks that was gonna turn into sand in your mouth. But it doesn't. No. And they're salty. They are. Vegetarian Chikaran old fashioned style. They're like in between a chip and, wow, what are those things called? 
They're like wheat thins, that like brand, but they have a more like. Uh, fish kip? Yeah. Yeah, that's it's it. In between it's those two. It's a very interesting texture. Pretty good though. Yeah, not too bad. I'll give it a six and a half. Six and a half. All right, pick a number. Um, 24. Four times corn snack, four times the layers, the crunch. Cheddar cheese flavor. Oh, four times. Cheesy mother. Cheesy mother. Oh wow, that is four times the layers. Oh, oh my. This looks like it'll taste like a bugle. Kind of smells like a bugle. They had bugles at this place. Bugle! But you can't put this on your finger. No. Ah! No! Bugle! Got it. <laughs> oh, it's a bit like a bugle. The cheese is slightly different. Yeah, the cheese is more fake cheese. Yes, very fake cheese. And the crunch is like a mix between a bugle and a Cheeto puff. Because it once you actually bite through it, then it kind of makes the Cheeto puff squishiness yeah. in your mouth. Pretty good. I'd give those a six and a half. Same. Take a number one through 4,642. 4,637. Oh. Is that our only chocolate thing? Yep. It is, I guess. Oh, we do have pillows. These look like pillows. Are these knockoff pillows? Oishi made more pillows? Crave? All right, new title for the video. Oishi made more pillows? Oishi skimming everybody? Whoa, Whoa. soft as not. Pillows are not that soft. They're soft, but they're not that soft. What the heck is like a soft pillow? Wow, that is good. They messed up. Cause pillow, they should have named this pillows cause pillows are soft. Yeah. Not crunchy. And they could have named those ones Chocolo. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Those are good. Mm. Eight. I'll also give it an eight. All right, pick a number that is greater than seven, but less than eight. I was thinking more in the 7.134891281.8.0. Migo! 0.3.5 repeating. Sweet that, corn flavor. That is going to taste like the same, those. Corn the flavor. Doritos. I expect them to taste exactly like this. We'll have this here just for reference, possibly, too. Oh. Guess what they smell like? Corn? Or, yes, corn. Guess what they look like? Oh, whoa, these smell even more vegetable y. Vegetable. There's a stronger aftertaste. It's got more of that sweetness than that one. It's a lot, it's, these ones, the Doritos were more salty, I think, but they're still sweet. These ones are really sweet. This has more of a chip flavor. This has more of a fake flavor. This one tastes sugary. It's super sweet, but it's good. It's good. I'll give it whatever I gave this. Did we rate that one? I don't no. think we rated it. I'll give this a... 7.5. 7? Seven. I give 7.5 to both of them. Okay, but 7. All right, you gotta pick a number that is a repeating number, also a prime number, and, and an integer as well. I don't even remember what integer means, but... 100, I used to. 111. Okay. We got ribbed, crackling, and old-fashioned salt and vinegar. Epic. Wow, uh, you guys can't see this yet. We'll show you at the end. There's just a mound of half open <laughs> snacks right below. We have to the finish camera. them all. That's our <laughs> only challenge tonight. I've never, whoa. Well, Every salt, like and vinegar salt and vinegar flavored thing I've ever had is just a potato chip. Yeah, that's true. This is weird. Ah, I don't like salt and vinegar very much. Three. I normally like salt and vinegar, and I don't like this salt and vinegar as much. A 5.5. And last but not least, pick a number that's greater than an elephant. Oh, sorry, I said two. Um, greater than an elephant, but less than a chihuahua. Oh, so you're thinking more like an 8.5? Correct. We have potato fries. We saved the best for last, everybody. The frack. Hmm. Can you peek at that, everybody? Wow, very nice. These, this is potato corner. This potato, it's literally Cheeto potato corner. Look at that, frackers. Wow. It's not very strong. Why does it have no flavor? This is really odd. How can it look like that and not have much flavor? We have to put the cheddar flavor on it. They just put orange. Maybe it is healthy because it's baked, not fried. Baked? Oh, Sour of... cream and cheddar taste very yummy. There's a lot of ingredients on here. Um, interesting. Five, not, because there's nothing to it? Yeah, it's literally, it's not bad, but there's nothing to it. I'd give it a five as well. And that's everything. Yeah. Take a <laughs> peek at this. Oh, frack. That's our haul. If you 
take this out, it's all cost about 150 pesos. How fancy is that, everybody? That is what I call a meal. Time to make the coffee. Oh, please, just pour it into your mouth. You like the taste. Oh, oh yum. 